Hey guys, welcome to Body Pump Friday morning. If you are new to Body Pump, Body Pump is a journey. Um, we get fit really fast, really strong in this class by using low to medium weight and putting the muscles under tension for a good amount of time. Um, today's class, if after four or five tracks, you feel like you've already gotten enough out of your workout, feel free to hit pause, stop, stretch out, cool down, and the next time you come back to class, add another track or another song, and eventually you'll do the entire thing. Normally in a body pump class, you would use a barbell. I will also show options today with the dumbbells. So if you're using a barbell, we are gonna start the warm up with some warm up weight, so lightweight on your barbell. And if you're using dumbbells, you're gonna use two dumbbells that are the same size, and they're gonna be two small to two medium dumbbells. Good deal. So we are gonna start in what we call the set position. It just means our feet are under our hips, abs and embraced, shoulders back and down. And if you're using the dumbbells with me, we're just gonna bring them forward so that the palm faces in towards the back. Heavy in our heels, soft in our knees. And if you're using the barbell, your hands will be wider than the legs on the barbell. Music, please. All right, guys, so we're gonna get warm. Then we're gonna start nice and slow. Deadlift, four, 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 three, two, one, four, three. Kick a speed, two, two. Down, down, up, up. So we're tucking our chin, eyes locked to the floor, and just sliding our hips all the way behind us. All right, you guys got it? Then row, single. Out, in, out, up. So our elbows slide past our ribs as our equipment comes in towards the belly. Add on, triple row. Out, three, and every time we pull in, guys, shoulder blades squeeze together, warming through our upper back. Deadlift, two, two, down, down, up, up. So pushing your hips further behind us, lengthening your spine, straightening your back, squeeze the belly. Up, right row, up, fast, pull, squeeze, release. So, elbows kind of wide, equipment, upper rib cage. Find your target. One more. New move. High pull, single, lift, drop. Then we're just going to push into the balls of our feet, lifting through our heels, and squeezing through our abs. Alright, got it? One clean, one press. Drop, push, catch, step. Bending our knees, recruiting our legs, driving through our hips. This time, bar up and over if you have it, or wrap. Right leg back. One, two, one, two, one. So it's a big step. Dropping our back knee directly under our hip, front knee over our ankle. Speed, single, down, up, and it's easy. Because we're still getting low. Feel your build. Feel your power. Mid knee squat. Step in, single, drop, foot. So in our mid stance, knees come straight forward, center of our foot, hips back and down, aiming for our knee line. Get us under the equipment and power us to the seat. 
feeling. Bar up and over, or rack it. Left leg back. One, two, one, two, one. And as we drop kick, trying to get our back knee about a quarter inch away from the floor. Singles. Easy. Drop, push. Back toes, push deeper into the ground. Feel the fire. Start to build through your legs. Step in wide. Single squat. Drop, lift. All right, so now the feet are for life. The knees push out towards our pinky toes and our hips further back and down. Half leg. Eight. And are we warm yet? Yeah. Final. Four. Get to the finish. Bar it over, step together, release, and that's your warm up. Awesome. So, we are going into squats, guys. We're going into squats. If you're using the barbell today and you're new, on your bar, you're going to add up to double whatever your warm up weight was. If you're using the barbell today and you're regular, you're going to add two to four times what your warm up weight was for this next track. If you're using dumbbells and you're new, you can either use no weight and just work on timing and range of motion or use a light set of dumbbells or one dumbbell and you can hold it sideways with me. If you're regular, you can use two medium or two large dumbbells or once again, one large or extra large dumbbell holding it sideways with me. The choice is yours. Pick up your equipment, set up. We're gonna start in what we call the mid stance. So from our set position, one heel, one toe wider so that as we sit back, the knees come straight forward and we really isolate through our quads. As we progress through this track, we will make our feet wider because it helps us recruit different muscle fibers from our lower body and that's what shock trains our muscles and that's what gives us shape and tone and strength and that's what we're here for. Set up, mid stance, grab your equipment. I'm gonna do it sideways, yeah, so I'll do this one. All right guys, so check in. Heavy in the heels, soften our knees. Music, please. Good deal. Breathe into your body. From the top, guys. Two and two. Down, down, up, up. So, once again, as you sit back, it's just like you're sitting into a chair. Push your hips all the way behind you. Find your seat. Because we're going to add on. Down for two, and we're going to hold the bottom for two. Now, lift for two, and hold the top for two. Repeat. Down, down, hold, hold. Up, up, out. Continue it. Two, one, two. Yes. So every time we drop our hips, aim for our knee line. That is what's considered full range of motion in body pump. All right, let's add the hold back in. Down for two. All big squeeze. Up, bigger squeeze. So feel the difference between holding at the bottom and holding at the top. Yes! One more. Can you get a little lower? Can you hold a little deeper? We're gonna build it back. Three, one. Down, 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 and rise. So you got it. Knees come straight forward. Hips straight back. And a big squeeze at the top. I feel it coming. Can you get an eighth of an inch lower? Can you push the limits on your range? Can you get more on your training? Hold. One heel. One toe. So we're in wide stance. Breathe into your body. Easy. Singles. Drop. Push. All right, guys. So our knees push out wide. Toes slightly, point it out, and dig into the heel as we lift to our top. Come on. Side of the foot. Push it to the floor. Oh. Feel the belt? Long way down for four, four, 
and then you push. Two, two. Down, down, up, up. Touch a smooth and steady. Squeeze into our chest. Every time we push the knee, flip it away. Slow it down. Four, 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 three. Bring it up. One more. Smooth and fluid. Good. Controlled and strong. Three. One. Down. 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 And rest. Yes. Now as you push up, can you push your back deeper in your bench Because here's our combo. Down fast. Pull. Squeeze. Single. Twice. Down. Up. Alright, so draw the top, big hold, slow rise to single, smooth and steady. And just keep that going, team. Keep it all about where we all think you may be. One more. One more. Slow it down. Four. 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 Three. So never rest it, right? Because the power of continuous mental training is that we're always moving, keeping the muscles under pressure to build the all. Three, one, three, two, one, and press. Drive up, right out of the chest. Push through the ceiling. Here's your combo. Down fast. Hold, squeeze. Single, twist. Oh, feel the muscle fibers in the chest. Feel the control. As you push away slow. You got two more. Yes, you can. One in the tank. You got one left. I know you do. Alright, guys, when you're done, sit up. Put this down. Sit up or push up. Either on the back of your hands or on the floor. Together from the top. Hands wide. Slow. Four. Three. Two. One. Four. Two. Two. Down. Down. Up. Up. Alright, so try to get your chest to your elbow breaks. Every single time. Feel your power. Here's the combo. Single push up. And we're gonna walk to the right. Walk, single push up, walk back to the center, push up, and now to the left. Yes, so every time our goal is to chest to the elbow. So if you're on the bench, the top elbow is the goal. Last one. Sub one. Hold, stretch it out. Bring it one more time. Just the push up. Hands wide, knees or toes. Slow for four. Four, three. Come on. All right, we're gonna kick it up. Two, two. Down, down. Up, digging through the heel of our hand. Squeeze into our belly. Solidity through our body. You know the combo. Push up, single. Walk to the right. Alright, so try your knees. Try to slide them back just a little more so we get more flow through our shoulders, chest, and arms. And if you want to advance, you're on your toes. Come on. Come on. One more. Center, guys. Single. Five. Five. Four, come on, push your hands. Couple more. Down and hold. Rise and stretch it out. Yes. Awesome. So we're going to take the hands and can you pause the music, please? And we're going to push out of the fingers. So just stretch in your chest, nice and wide. And it's like the collarbone is pulling in separate directions to give us a little bit more space here. From here, float the fingers back, hold the hands away from your shoulders as you lift your chest and eyes to the ceiling. Awesome, we're going into back. So if you're a regular and you're using the barbell, uh, you're gonna use regular back weight. If you're new and you're using the barbell, you're gonna use chest weight or slightly more. Chest weight or slightly more. 
If you're using dumbbells with me, you're going to use two dumbbells if you're new that are small or medium, and if you're regular, two dumbbells that are medium or large. You also need in this track, if you're using the barbell, one plate that's close by that's separate from the weight on your bar because you're going to see squat and presses with the plate at the end of each round. If you're using the dumbbells with me, when the barbell team um, switches to plates, we will use one dumbbell sideways, or if you want to increase your load, you'll use two dumbbells, rack position, load, explode. Good deal. We are going to start with deadlifts in our set position. So grab your equipment and let's go. Awesome. Feet under our hips, shoulders back and down, abs in tight. Woo! Soft in our knees, heavy in our heels. Music, please. Awesome, team. So we're going to start nice and slow. Just breathe. And we're going to build it. Two rounds, same choreography. Power training, deadlift for four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. So from the beginning, as we set the hips back, I want a long, straight spine. Two, two. Down, down, up. Up, yes. So don't pull the shoulders forward. Pull the back and down. So you're standing tall at the top. And pull the proper muscles are returning exactly as you can set to get optimal results in your training. One more. First change. Single dead row. Out, in, out, up. Knees, belly, knees, rise. Elbows, slide past our ribcage, chest opens. And every time we pull in, guys, shoulder blades, squeeze into the center of your back. Feel the build, triple row. Out, three, two, one, stand up, repeat. Feel the warmth in the back. Feel the energy rising in the room. Because here comes our first combo. Together. One hard pull. One dead lift. So elbows, high and wide, on the pull. Heel lift, hips stride forward. And on the dead lift, hips slide back as you hinge forward. Two. One clean, one press. Drop, foot. One dead row. Out, in. Come on. Bend the knees. Work for the legs. Full body integration. You got it. Come on. In the row, elbow tight. Shoulder blades squeeze in. Upper back. Feel it. Feel it. Forward out. Grab your plate. Squat and press. Down, up. So we're in the mid stance, guys. Feet right outside the hips. Elbows forward of the knees as our hips backing out. That's the load. And as we drive up, exploding, plate through the ceiling. Catch it, five. Yes, three, halfway. Grab your equipment, set position. Two. Deadlift for two. Down, down. All right, so if you're using the bar, start to press into your thighs. Thigh lats come into the bar. One more. One more. Dead row. Singles. Out. In. So check this out. As you pull the elbows back, open through the chest. That means you're spreading it wide, and it doesn't move. Because it's not the chest lifting that brings the row in. It's the strength in the back. Come on. Stabilization for your core. And let's add on. Triple row. Out. Three. Two. Great, y'all get it. Great. 
feel it more? Did you know? This is the mind of the Feel the strength. Feel the power. And let's tackle this together, shall we? One team. Single hard pull. Single dead lift. Come on. Together. Working to accomplish one goal. Healthier versions of ourselves. Come on. Because it's not about your circumstances. It's about what you're made of. So check in with me. One clean, one press. Draw. One dead row. Come on. You got it. Fast feet. Fast elbows. Big pull. Big squeeze. One team. One dream. You got this. Barbell down. Grab your plate. Mid stance. Squat and press. Drop. Push. So I want you to push. So hard into the ground. It's like you're ripping it apart. Under your feet. Feel the connection. Feel your power. And let's push the limits. Lower. Higher. Catch it. High. Done. Done. One hand. Over the other. Slide your fingertips forward. Slide your hips back. Shoulders. Roll to the front. As you push out of your fingertips. In your own time. Elbows. Collapse inside of our knees. Look in between our legs. And slowly. On up. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So, if you're on what we call our Smart Start program, that was track four. So, if you feel like you already got a really good workout, awesome. Push stop, do some light stretching, and we'll see you next time. Otherwise, we're done with major muscle groups. We're going into minor. So, our first minor muscle group is triceps. If you're using the barbell, warm up weight is what is recommended for everyone. You will also use the bench in this track. So, set it up for you to lay on top of it. If, you if you're using the barbell, you also need, separate from the barbell, a plate. So if you're new, that should be small to medium. And if you're regular, it should be medium or large. Because we'll use it for overhead extensions. And we'll also use it for tricep dips if you want to take the advanced option. If you're using dumbbells with me, we're going to use one, if you're new, small to medium dumbbell. If you're regular, medium to large. And the way we're going to set up is on the floor with... Dumbbell straight overhead, wrists over your shoulders. We will see overhead extensions, so the elbows squeeze together as the equipment comes over the head. And as we lift, stacking those shoulders uh, right underneath the wrists. Once again, awesome, awesome. We will see the pullover press today, guys, but I will coach that to you when we get there. So don't worry, set up either barbell or uh, dumbbell, lay back, arms up, and let's rock and roll. Use it, please. All right, guys, so we're going to start overhead. Roll your shoulders into the bench or mat. Squeeze the belly. And we're going to start nice and slow. Four, four. Down, 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 down. Up. Three, one. Down, 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 lift. So as you lower, okay? Squeeze the elbows in towards one another. So block the blows to the back of your heart. Pull over press. Straight down for two. Bring it over for two. Nine meters apart. Bring it back down. Push straight to the ceiling. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. So it's very fluid. Elbows are in tight the whole time. So the triceps are what's doing the work. Here's the speed. Tricep press. Single. Down. Up. Go. And as you push up. Push your back down. Feel the difference in isolation and stability. Because we're going to slow it back down. Overhead for four. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Stack in the elbows. Directly over the shoulders. Feel the pressure. Three, one. Down, 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 five. Wait to the last second. And then you slow it back to the top. Four times on your tension. Hold. 
roll over press. Two, two, down, 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 over, down, up. So if you're new, 
They should be too small or too medium plates. And if you're regular, they should be too medium or too large plates. So the deal with this track, guys, we have a nice little added bonus of muscular stamina and endurance um, at the end of already fatiguing the muscles, which is cool. So if you're starting to lose form, drop the weight. So either lower your weight choice or just continue the movements without the weight because we're still building muscle memory and we're still building through our stabilizers and that's how we get fitter and more conditioned every single class, every single time. We are gonna start in our set position. So either the barbell or the dumbbells. We're gonna set up for bicep curls. All right, elbows in, feet under the hips. Music, please. Woo! And if you're using dumbbells, we're gonna start with the hands next to the side of the back. Nice and slow to the top, slow to the bottom. Right leg back, three, one. Three, two, one, drop. So from the beginning, we want to warm elbow under our shoulder. It doesn't slide forward, doesn't slide back. A fast hold. One, one, two, one. Take more drops. Slow. Yes, in. Slow range, fast range. Take more. Yes, that's full cool range. Here is a bit. Come in front of your shoulder. And half range. Wrist. And part of the elbow. So it's in line with your belly button. Or line with your arm. Strengthen, protect, and build. 
bar. So right under the upper rib cage. There it is. We're gonna slow it down. Two, two. Down, or up, up. Down, down. So here's the deal. The reason we're doing so many upright rows, we're building you into what we call a slow clean. And the upright row is the first part of it. Are you ready? You ready? Slow clean. Elbows high and wide. Now drop under, catch. And now slow release. Four, three, two, drop, four, three. Fast knee, overhead, press, up, down. Shoulder isolation. Push into the front foot, squeeze to the back, push straight up out of the shoulder. Feel the difference? We're gonna add the legs. Step in, drop, power. Yes! So when we bend the knees, it recruits the legs and core. Abs are working. Shoulders. Back. One more. Break it down. Slow clean. Four. Three. Two. Drop. Four. Three. Yes. One more day. Boom. Back clean. Overhead. Press. Up. Drop. Come on. Don't be back. Push into the front foot. Find the strength, find the isolation, and work harder. Step in, and legs, power. So push into the heel, like you're ripping the floor apart. Feel that. Boom! Explode! Catch it, bring it down. Take them all in the floor, barbell down. Drive your two plates, right leg forward, elbows in, side right. Two, one, two, one. All right, guys, we're gonna add on. Rotate. So we pivot on the elbow, open through the chest. And as we open, I want you to push into the front foot, squeeze into the belt. One more. One small plate or one 
small dumbbell to a medium plate or a medium dumbbell. If you're regular, a medium to large plate or dumbbell. Set it up for C crunch. So we're gonna take the plate or the dumbbell and bring it in front of the forehead, elbows in, feet close to the glutes. Music, please. All right guys, so we're gonna start smooth and steady with our abs today. C crunch, two, two. two, two. Ankle under the knee, arm over the knee, back hip drop, 
So now we're going to bring the hands down to the front and shift our way back into our hands and stretch. Press on our side and just relax.